that's all I put to talk about to another part of Octopath Traveler. In the last part, we finished off Ulbrich's story, and it was just pretty much talking to the, the NPCs before leaving the village. And then we made our way over here to the wetlands? Coastlands. Um, and we're going to start this person's story. I don't remember her name. Uh, well, Teresa. Teresa? Not Teresa. Teresa. It should be Teresa, right? Um... We'll start her story and go through and then she's the last character that we haven't got. Uh, so then we'll go over and try to do whoever's the lowest level. I think it was like Therion, wasn't it? Was the lowest level? Or Cyrus? No, one of them. It was a guy who's the lowest. Those stinking pirates. I can't forgive them for this. I don't know what they sound like yet. I'm getting everybody's things back no matter what it takes. What does she sound like? Go on. Here, let me hear her voice. Her name is Tressa and she's a merchant. A tiny port town in the coastlands is the only home she's ever known. Here, in Ripple Tide, she cuts deals and stock shells, doing all she can to help her family shop afloat. And from the quays, she was walked a thousand times. She looks at, out upon the endless sea and dreams of the wider world. She's Moana. Got it. When she's robbed by a band of thieving pirates one day, her pride as a merchant won't allow her to back down, and so she vows to set off the pirate's den. She will need daring allies on the path she has chosen. Take stress along with you? Yeah. And, uh... I'm sorry, Therion. Just got by the bullet, huh? This world is brimming with treasures, and I know that what I'm searching for is waiting for me out there, somewhere. This definitely sounds like Moana. So I'll set sail for the horizon, and the great big world lies beyond. <gasps> yawn! Did you actually say yawn? Shop ain't gonna stock itself. Hmm. Let me hear more of your voice to see if it annoys me. Morning, Ma. Morning, Pa. Morning, Tressa. Looks like our number one employee is ready for another day of work. Sure am. And I'll start by stocking up the store. Mm, I don't know how I feel about her voice, because her voice goes up and down a lot, like, I, I'll see about stuck in the store. I don't know if I want to do it like this. Hold your seahorses, little lady. Tell me, what are the three things a merchant needs most? Money, money, money. They need to be smiley, mannerly, and early. Thought you had me, didn't you? <laughs> You're too clever for me, Tressa. Now off you go. Leave it to me, Pa. Be careful out there, Tressa. Oh, those pirates have been causing trouble around the tavern lately. If you see them, you make sure to keep a wide berth, you hear? Got it, Ma. Be back in two ripples of the tide. There she goes. She reminds me of myself when I was that age. Always running off somewhere, wanting to prove myself a full-fledged merchant. Don't flatter yourself, dear. Our Tressa is something special. <laughs> Glad she is. Speak for the fisherman. Uh, to the left? Fisherman? Hello? Where's my ability? Hello, fisherman. Oh. Well, if it ain't the hardest working merchant in town. You ever beat some fisherman to the pier? You even beat some fisherman to the pier? I don't know why I said that wrong. <laughs> I don't sound so surprised. We both know the early bird gets the worm, or in our case, the fish. <laughs> You're darn right it does. Well, here's the catch of the morning. Mm. Blue marlin, I see. A big one, too, with lots of good meat on its bones. I can give you this much. 
for it. <laughs> huh? It's worth a little more than that. This one's a whopper. Hmm. I guess I'll just have to take my business elsewhere then. Your hook snagged its innards. I was willing to overlook the damage, but... All right. Fine. You got yourself a deal, Missy. Pleasure doing business with you. Not bad. You drive a hard bargain. You're a born natural at negotiating. I was wrong to underestimate you. <laughs> you got that right. I may not look much, but I can haggle with the best of them. <laughs> I learned my lesson. Well, don't be a stranger. Yeah. I won't. Thanks again. Tressa seems a lot younger than all the other party members for some reason. I think oh, it's her right. voice being so high it makes it sound like she's actually like 12. <laughs> Next, wine. I don't think you're allowed. I don't think you're the legal age to buy wine, hen. Um, no, we're doing. Tressa can purchase items from. Oh, she can purchase things. Yeah, like each character unique collection never coming out. But I could just steal them. Why would I buy things when I could, when I could just steal it? Purchase spirits from the beverage vendor, but I could just steal it. Hello. Give me your ball of wine. I got a trophy. Uh, not a trophy, an achievement. Purchase something for the first time. We have the finest mead. Always looking for a bargain. Another day, another deal. The deal so good, it was practically a steal. I could just steal. This ought to liven up our little shop. Our little shop. Just me, my, pa. If I don't take over, you will. The ocean is so vast. I'm just looking at the water, and the water, I don't know. Because it's moving, and like nothing else really is in the game, it kind of, it gives me a little bit of the illness, honestly. I don't know how if I like the way they've done it. I feel like I would have just rathered it be still rather than move. The ocean is so vast. I always wonder how far I'll go. <laughs> what do I really want to do? What do I really want in life? And then I wonder. What lies beyond the horizon? She is Moana. What came out first? I imagine Moana. Maybe Put not, though. Maybe not. Could have been this. I haven't seen that ship around here before. Wonder where it came from. A dreary town. Hello, you have an interesting character model. But it carries a delectable scent. Its cuisine may be promising. What's the matter, lass? You look like a fish out of water. Is this a trading ship? <laughs> Oh, the pirates, yeah, of course. Indeed, and I am its captain. Pirates, shut up, I know this. She said that she was robbed by pirates. Well, captain, the name's Tressa. I'm a merchant in this town. A pleasure to meet you. I'm sure you have all kinds of neat cargo on board. Say, would you mind if I take a peek? Yes, you would. I'd love to see what you've brought from overseas. Why does she look like she's gonna fight him? <laughs> you have a true merchant's eye, lass. You gaze at a simple trading ship as if it were made of solid gold. Alas, I only allow passage to those I trust. Aww. It seems fair. <gasps> what was that? I'll go check it out. Busy as a bream, that one. I mean, I don't trust them. 
Make for the source of the ruckus. Is it my shop? Has my shop been robbed? <laughs> Don't! I beg you! That's all I have left. <laughs> then we'd be in the same boat, matey. Oh my god, don't hurt the old people. We got nothing left ourselves, ain't that right, Mac? <laughs> Aye, Mick. Mac and Mick, really. And when we be needing something, we be taking it. Just what the pirates do, after all. But, but. Please have mercy. Sir! Captain, I got the goods from th that there shop. You ninny! There'd be only one captain around here, and it'd be me. <laughs> huh, everyone knows I be captain and you're, you're me first mate. Mm. We'll see about that, Mac, you scurvy swine. Mm. Aye, we will, Mick, you scabby bottom sea bass. Oh, Can't you both be the captain? <laughs> Fine. Now show us what y other treasures you be hiding. Are we about to whoop hey. them? Hey, stop that. <laughs> Says who? I won't allow Says it. Says me. The people here are merchants and fishermen doing all they can to put food on the table. Have a heart. Don't steal what little they have from them. Mm. How's this for heart? I'll give you one chance to shove off, kid. But I... <laughs> Best to be on your way, little one. We're doing grown-up business here. Is she younger than the other uh. people? I'm not going anywhere. Hmm. Well, well. What you got there, kid? My wine? I, I knew they wanted my wine. The drunks. It's rainbow wine. You are only supposed to drink rum. And it'd be ours now. What? No, fight them. Hey! I'd probably like you and appreciate it, none anyways. We're doing you a right favour by taking off your hands. Now say thank you. Give it back! Lass. That's enough, lass. But Captain, I think again. you've got pluck, I'll give you that. But they don't look like the types who listen to reason, Savvy. <laughs> that little little, little skeleton knows what he's talking about, the kids. Best take his advice to heart. Oh, is he not a pirate? Oh, I didn't trust him. In the words of the strong, take while the weak quake. Can we not just punch them? There's enough of us. I think we could take them. Thank you kindly for your loot. Your deck wet and worms. Fare thee well. Aye, it's been a bloody pleasure. There's no need to pretend. There's no need to pretend, lass. Your legs are trembling. Aww. It's just a cramp, that's all. Lass. Not even the best merchant could buy back his life once it's taken from him. Mm. I know, but... Why won't they just leave us alone? Those pirates should be out at sea. Instead, they're holed up in the caves of Ma Maya, west of town. What do I do now? I'ma go get your surf back. You lost, bottle of wine. Exit the town to the west and make for the cave. Oh, we're just gonna go to the caves? Like, it's not gonna be like, oh, I should do this. We just go? Hello there. Going somewhere less? Captain. Oh. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were setting course straight for the pirates then. Awfully rash, wouldn't you say? Well... I know, but... Hmm. And you still intend to go. I see. That must mean you have a foolproof plan or attack. And a weapon, of course. You wouldn't dare go empty-handed, would you? Only a fool would think they could haggle their warriors back from a dastardly pirates. Mm. I know, but I can't just sit back and do nothing. Those poor people might starve if they don't get their belongings back. With my honour as a merchant, I can't let them get away with this. Oh? A fine choice of words, lass. Really? Really? Aye. If you're so determined, I won't stop you. However? On the condition that you let me help. Huh? How so? I'm willing to part with some of my wares if you think you'll pr they'll prove useful on your journey. 
If there's something that catches your eye, consider it yours. For the right price, of course. Deal. Deal. Why is there like so many? Hello, friend. What do you think of the wares? Hmm? A herb for insomniacs. It might be effective against a certain pair of pirates. Oh. And what would you need sleep word for? I didn't look at everything. I'm sure those pirates must be exhausted after all the looting. <laughs> so I thought I'd help them relax by sipping some in their wine. <laughs> <laughs> You're a clever one, aren't you? Off you go then, and be safe out there, lass. Oh, I, I didn't get to look at all of them. Thank you. By the way, Captain. Why are you helping me? Because my eyes tell me to do so. As a fellow merchant, I'm sure you understand. We appraise with our eyes, and mine tell me there's something special about you. <laughs> hmm, I see. Thank you, Captain. I still don't trust them. <laughs> that should do the trick. Now to make a special delivery to the Caves of Maya. And so, I'm on my way to the Pirate's Den. Really? You're gonna help me? I can't thank you enough. You've got a heart of gold. <laughs> now that I've slipped some of this sleep word, I sleep weed into the wine. Most of those soft and stolen wares will be good as mine. Try to join the party. And with that, we'll end off there. It might be a bit of a shorter one this time. I'm not sure. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to poke that like button. Subscribe and comment your comments because they are comments. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.